episode 1185, I Am Marked. It's time to train for life and love your journey. In this episode of Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, you'll learn new ways to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew your mind, body, and spirit. Please welcome your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. Wake up. It's a brand new day. It's a beautiful day. And it's your day. A brand new start to a beautiful week. It's Mindset Monday. I am marked. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, what did you wake up telling yourself this morning? I am ready for the day. I am marked. Maybe your mindset wasn't that positive. You were thinking more about another dreaded Monday to the start of this great week. And that great is ever so sarcastic. But you do anything to keep half smile alive. We try, right? We try to build our spirits up like, yes, I can do this. But really, honestly, sometimes we get up with the negative thoughts, the I can't do anything right perspective. And we end up drowning our days with fears before we even give the day a chance. How unfair, but we do. You might be clinging to anxiety. You might be clinging to depression or anger, worry, discontentment, sadness, a broken heart. That's just a handful. Today, though, is a different day. It's a new day, and you are marked by the hand of God. Now, people may acknowledge you by what you've done or what you're doing. They may discount you, tossing you to the side because of what you aren't doing. You can't win for losing. But remember, though, today is a new day. I am marked. You see, God doesn't see things the way you see them. He sees through the messes, through the failures, through the turmoil and tragedies. He sees a woman. He sees a man marked by his love and his grace. He sees potential in the purpose you're giving up on. God looks at your heart. Why are you giving up on your purpose? He hasn't yet and won't ever. I am marked. God knows your journey ahead will not be easy. You're going to have some major hits and knockdowns before you even get close to where you want to go. But remember, you are marked. Say it. Come on. I hear you. I am marked. Now I hear underneath your breath, those little murmurs. "Mm -hmm. How can I keep going with this dream and what God has placed in my heart if I can't do anything or if I don't have the finances or whatever your excuses may be? Nothing is lining up. Don't you see that? Don't you understand? I'm here to tell you you're wrong. Yes, wake up Monday. You're wrong. Because God is lining everything up perfectly. You just can't see it yet. What you need to know within your mind, within your body, and within your spirit is know that you are marked. I am marked. And with his marking, you can live out your purpose with a heavenly mindset. And that is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. Live out your purpose with a heavenly mindset. Stop dreaming earthly dreams. Stop staying stuck in the muck. It's no fun. I was doing some gardening this weekend. Okay, I really wasn't gardening because it's still cold. Actually, here in the South for us, we were like in the mid 50s to to low 60s Saturday and Sunday and I was freezing. Go figure when before, you know, up North, I'd be freezing, really freezing and it'd be like 22 degrees and here I'm complaining that it's 60 I know, perspective, I get it, but I expect sunshine down south. I don't expect cold, but it was a little chilly, so I'm out doing yard work. I'm getting dirty. You don't need to get dirty all the time. You don't need to stay to the earthly level of that mindset that holds you back because that's what we're doing. You got to live out your purpose with a heavenly mindset. And what does that look like? Number one, know that I am God. Know that he's God. There is no other God. He has everything under control. It's not your time to question. It's your time to trust. 
Know that I am God. That's a hard one to let go of. Honestly, come on. I want you to be raw and beyond authentic. I want you to be to the nitty gritty bone. Like if you only, if you had all your flesh gone and it was just, you know, your skeleton, that's how raw I want you. I want you that raw with yourself today in your honesty. Know that I am God. We challenge that because we want control. And when you know that he is God, what are you doing? You're giving up that control. And that is something that I know personally I fight with on a daily basis. I want to be the one in control. Now, yeah, I really do want to control my children. And yes, I even want to control my husband at times. I know I cannot, but I definitely cannot control God. Yet I do everything I can in my power, thinking that I am making the steps, preparing the path, the purpose of my day, my schedule, what everything looks like to control how it's going to end up. And you know what? It never comes out the way I think it's going to. Never, 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 never. And that's a very strong word. I do not use that word very often. So number one, know that I am God. If you're stuck right there, if you're like, oh, well, yeah, kind of. If you're teeter-tottering on that, then you just need to sit on that for a day or two or three or four, really come to grips and say, okay, Lord, you got this. I don't know that I am God. Number two, rejoice in the complications. But why? I'm not where I want to be. I'm living a life that's full of, well, crap. If I'm honest, I want you to see it as an adventure. Rejoice in the complications. Be on the lookout. Have a watchful eye. Because God is sending you his God winks. And those are the best kind to get. Nothing is more gratifying. I'm serious. Than being able to put one plus one together and get two and know that one of those ones is a God wink. And you're like, whoa, sparks fly. It's better than the 4th of July here in the U.S. Any spectacular Macy show that you can watch with the fireworks, whether they're there live in New York City or whether you're watching it on TV, nothing beats recognizing his God winks. I love those. They said little goosebumps all up my arm. I get chills down my back. Sometimes I just have to freeze for a moment and I even get tears. And I'm not talking tears of like just a little drop. I'm like tears that are like, I need four or five Kleenexes to dry my eyes. Rejoice in the complications. Look for those God winks. I promise you he's sending them your way. And number three, take aim and be obedient. Seriously, I am being obedient. I'm trying to get to where he is showing me. I want to live out his dream. Or really, are you? Are you trying to script your own life? Or are you allowing God to script your life? God knows best. You know the saying, Father knows best. He does. But you see, we're kind of afraid. We sit there and go, okay, yeah, I'm just going to sit here. and I'm going to wait for that lightning to strike to know that that's the direction I'm supposed to go. Sometimes we're supposed to be taking action right where we sit. Right where we stand on a daily basis in our job, the job that we hate so much. But maybe you're supposed to be there right now, today, tomorrow, the next week, the next month, the next year, because God's preparing a way for you. You have to be obedient. Take aim. That doesn't mean to sit on the sidelines. No, it doesn't. That means that next step, one step at a time, leads to miles of greatness. It's the one step. God wants you to take that one step and be obedient. Father knows best. In all this, you must be you. And that includes in your weaknesses too. God's strength is made perfect in your weaknesses. I do not want you to sit here and say, well, I'm going to make a tally here right now. And I'm sending you my list in my email and telling you all these weaknesses I have. And because of these, I can't do what I'm supposed to do. I need all of this before all of this goes away. And God says, no, you don't. I want you to be you. I created you. I love you right where you're at. You are worthy. Know that I am God. Rejoice in your complications because you know what? I'm sending you God winks. It's a reminder that I am present every single day. 
take action to continue your motivation and be obedient. Don't slow down. And most importantly, be present, be incredible, be you. So what do you say today? I am marked. Now, when you repeat this to yourself, I am marked, you will feel a rush of God's strength within you. God driving your life messes and blesses. How's that for a start to your Monday? Whoa, feeling a little bit better, doesn't it? It's like you want to go and replay when you got up. Get up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, I am marked. Look in your rearview mirror right now. If you're running, okay, don't look in the rearview mirror. Maybe you pass a puddle or two. Look at the pedal. Say, I am marked. Look at your phone. Yeah, we all have one of those almost nowadays. Look at it. See your reflection. Say, I am marked. Yay, let's get it going. Take this momentum right now and click on the link, take aim in the show notes. And we will get you set up for your free gift, a coaching call with me. I want you to be inspired to live out your purpose. You don't need to be sitting here just kind of wondering, is God going to show up? I'm telling you, he's showing up. The question is, are you ready to show up? Are you ready? It's time for you to live out your purpose with a heavenly mindset. It's a brand new day. I am marked. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.